What's going on everyone? Welcome to our uh, preview tips and Q&A session. Um, we'll get started just shortly. Uh, I'm just setting up a few things and then we'll uh, we'll just hop into a brand new game and play until uh, all the questions and tips have kind of been handed out. Alright, we're going to be in shortly everyone, just uh, hold on one more second while we uh, set up a couple things and then um, we'll be good to go. Okay, uh, while we wait for folks to come in, we're just going to start a new game, and we'll start in normal mode. <clears throat> I know a lot of you have been checking out the uh, Let's Plays on the channel, I really appreciate that, as well as... Um, the first 30 minutes video, the support for all the videos is more than I could have imagined. Um, so really thank you so, so much for uh, checking out all those videos. I think the uh, first Let's Play is almost at a thousand views um, in less than 24 hours, which for my channel and the size of my channel, that's amazing. So I do really appreciate, um, I do really appreciate you guys uh, checking that out, leaving comments, likes, um, being very kind to me. When I've made so many mistakes, it's been it's been quite fantastic. So we're gonna get things going here just shortly with uh, Q and A's, uh, and and we'll talk about the game a little bit. And I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this with you guys. Hopefully, you're gonna be able to join. Uh, I'm just gonna let the opening video kind of run through, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'm not going for anything crazy here. Alright, so let's just go with a red motorbike, doesn't really matter. Uh, just for this, Seth, we're just going to do a new save. Um, and if people come in and have questions and answers, we'll uh, we'll be sure to do that, uh, or to share that new gameplay with them. But uh, we won't be continuing this save past this, uh, past this video. Okay. Hey Raider, how are you? We're just gonna uh, let the opening video play out and then uh, we'll kind of get into some of the uh, the tips for beginners for uh, Pioneers of Olive Town as well as answer any question folks might have about the game. And we'll stream for um, as long as people are here and having a good time. We'll keep streaming it. I would say when you're starting out in the game, uh, anything you choose, your hair color, um, bike color, I believe, clothes, all of that stuff, that's all changeable. So it's not you're not tied to it. Um, and 
you can change that. The only things you can't change are your name, uh, your farm name, and then your gender. So you get to pick between male and female, those are your options, and uh, once you do pick, you cannot change that. So those are the only things you really need to be mindful of when uh, starting the game. Make sure you choose what you really want to choose, and because you're stuck with it, unless you start up a brand new save. It's uh, it's pretty good, Raider. Um, I've enjoyed it so far. There's things I don't like, and we can discuss those. Um, and there are things that I really like. Um, you know, everybody's going to play this game differently. They're going to feel differently about it. Um, but we'll, we'll get into some of that as we play. And I think you'll see some of the things that don't work, in my opinion, as well as some of the things that do really work. So I think there'll be some beneficial uh, gameplay here as well as um, um, so this is one of the things you cannot change later as you can see there in the text bar uh, your birthday uh, another thing you can't change is your birthday and another thing you can't change is your gender. So if I go back here, you can pick grandson or granddaughter. Can't change that. So will there be a new dingus? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I have a cow in my one let's play, um, which I don't think is live yet. But uh, we did not name him dingus. But I mean, if we, we want to name one dingus, and so be it, we'll do it. For anybody that doesn't know, that's just a little bit of an inside joke if you were part of our... Uh, Friends of Mineral Town streams. <laughs> you can set the uh, text to auto, so it'll just run through. And if you ever want to look back on something, uh, that's what the log is. So you can actually um, back up, and um, it backs up pretty far. Uh, right now, it's backing up all the way to the beginning of the game. So this, this, these couple boxes here were. Um, the opening little cinematic and if you miss that uh, you can see that in my first 30 minutes and then it hops right in so it, it does save a lot of text but I usually just put it on auto and let it run itself but I mean I can show you if you do click you can just skip right through um, farms name we will just go with what we named our, our let's play farm just like that Agreed, Raider. Well, what about uh, Harvest Moon? We'll be playing that tomorrow. Um, doing a live feed of that, I think tomorrow about 8 o'clock. Hey, sir, how are you? About 8 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll be playing uh, Harvest Moon. We might have to have a dingus in Harvest Moon as well. But we'll, uh, as the gameplay goes, we'll walk through some things. Um, I just, I'll, I'm going to click right through all this opening text just because um, you can see this in some other videos if you really want to. That doesn't help our tips and tricks or nothing like that, so. Okay, so here's your tent. Uh, just a quick heads up, you can sleep there. Uh, you can listen to the weather, gives you three days uh, as opposed to the one day that you normally would get in other Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Stardew Valley, those kind of games. Uh, this one will actually give you today's weather and the next two days weather, which is actually really great for planning. Um, this I think is just your encyclopedia. This is where you'll be able to see things that you have shipped. So if I go in right now, everything's blank, uh, but that will fill in on its own. Um, and same with goes for when you uh, ship stuff. So it's just an encyclopedia like all their games. You fill it in as you sell stuff. Um, this here is where you can save. And uh, this is notes, uh, which is just basically tutorial stuff. Uh, doing another game, ask sir. Uh, yes. Hey, Vlad. Uh, yes, sir. This is um, Pioneers of Olive Town. It comes out later this month in North America and Europe. It's already out in Japan. I'm playing the English version thanks to Marvelous Europe who gave it to me. Um, so there you go. All right. So this is your, uh, this is, this is what you get to start your, to start the game. This is all you have access to. 
Um, always a good idea to pick up any um, forgeable items. So flowers, this muscle, that I, or clam that I just picked up. There's another one. Um, one of the cool new features in this game is actually right up here. Oh, right here. So right here there is an onion in the ground. So as of right now, if I went into town, I couldn't buy an onion. Once I ship this wild onion, uh, it will become... Hey, Goldeneye. The onion will become a sellable crop. Or purchasable crop, sorry, in the uh, in the general store. So that's really uh, that's really nifty and really cool, I think. So we'll pick those up. Um, we'll keep going. I think I should probably all. Oh, so here's some wild berries, and we're gonna get two. If you notice that little thing crawling off the screen, that'll be important a little bit later. We probably won't get into it now, but uh, but it will become a bit oh, important if you're doing a let's uh, doing your own playthrough. This is uh, some oregano, uh, which we'll actually hold on to and use it for cooking. Okay, so uh, the first task we're given is to clean up our farm a little bit. So when you press X and you kind of get into your tool bag, you'll have um, all your levels for the various uh, chores you'll do around the farm. Uh, crafting, right here. Uh, your relationships with villagers, or with citizens, sorry, of all of town. Uh, a calendar, which shows all the events. Uh, a map of town. Uh, records and other things right there and then your bag all your tools are stored down here and you can move them into your inventory or out of your inventory whenever you want um, so if you need extra space you can put them back in your tool bag i like to have them handy at all times if possible so we're tasked with just kind of cleaning up the farm a little bit um, which i'll do to a point just to show it off before we just go to bed hey bx how are you so here we are, we're just going to cut down a tree uh, with this regular axe that takes a long time. Um, logs are going to be important for uh, buildings and then for using makers, and we'll get into makers uh, in a little bit. And that's where we'll start getting into the downsides, I think, of Pioneers of all of Town. Alright, so we'll just do this really quick. So we're just getting some logs here. Just like that. And um, I need a fair amount, so I'm going to do this a little bit just because... Uh, so, so we just leveled up a skill, and we got a new title right there. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. Titles are like if you played Animal Crossing and you have the passport in Animal Crossing and you can change your title. Similar to that. Kind of like an achievement system almost, because we will actually be able to pick up some rewards in town at the uh, town hall. Okay. We got BX here, we got Goldeneye, we got Vlad, we got Sir, we got Raider. I think Seth might still be around. Thanks for coming, everyone. Okay, so let's do this. So, uh, one of the other stamina works very much like other games. The more work you do, the faster your stamina depletes. The better your tools, the less it depletes. Things like that. One of the other cool features I like about this game are you don't have to build everything from scratch. So you're taking over your grandfather's farm. So you'd assume at one point it was a bustling farm. So instead of like saving up to buy a coop, you actually have a coop on your property right here, as you can see. And somewhere there's a chicken running around. It doesn't matter. So what you actually have to do is actually fix. <laughs> nice right here. So you actually have to repair the coop. Um, and so that's what I need: logs, stone, and grass. So let's um, let's get some stone because we can. Oops. Let's get some stone here and try to see if we can uh, quickly get enough resources here to rebuild this coop. I really like that that you don't actually have to build one from scratch. It makes the whole you're taking over your grandpa's old dilapidated farm more believable. It really does. So that's a cool feature, but even more to that point, you don't have to pay for that first animal. So I think it's so easy to, um, it's really easy to kind of ignore taking care of animals in these games, especially for the first little bit as you're trying to get your feet out under you and they can be expensive to get started. So I really like, um, really like that there's always going to be uh, one animal. There it is. So you see the chicken right there. So there's going to be one animal that once I have that coop fixed, I'll be able to tame this chicken and have a chicken. Um, and then across this, oop, there's some more oregano. Let's pick that up. Um, oh, jeez. Just a second. 
once you get across this bridge, this bridge, getting there. Once we fix this bridge and get across, there's actually a cow over there and a barn. So um, as you slowly expand your farm, you're going to get access to more things. The third expansion, you'll access a horse and, um, and another building. So tons of stuff to do. Um, lots of exploration. A good, in my opinion, a good um, progression path, I think, for the game. So that's really great. I enjoy that. Uh, so did you win a Series X? <laughs> uh, Raiders referencing the... I got a I got a cup from Taco Bell Canada today uh, where they had a Series X contest, but the contest actually ended tomorrow. And so someone joked, imagine if... I think GoldenEye was you that joked, imagine if the winner was underneath that that lid <laughs> okay um we're gonna take down our our um, stamina right down until as far down as we can get so you're noticing here i'm having a lot of misses with my hits and i find that the game seems to be built for an eight directional path right so one point oh, you're standing and then all around but i find with a joystick it can be hard to aim at what you're doing it's quite annoying um you learn with time how to touch the stick better to make it work. Don't make jokes, anyone, please. Um, <laughs> but uh, neither here nor there. It, it does work. It's just not great. Do we have enough to repair? No, we're short on everything, but we can do it tomorrow. All right, so to keep this going, I'm just going to hop into bed. And we'll, uh, we'll deal with what tomorrow brings. And definitely, if you're, if you're here in the chat, I'm not maximizing my day. Like, I could have done so much more. And I could have done better stuff with my day. I didn't even ship my onions I picked up, for example. Honestly, the tree drives me nuts while watching other YouTube videos. I'm like, chop down the trees already. Uh, yeah, Crystal, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> it's uh, There's so many trees, and they grow back so fast. What I am hoping, and I haven't, uh, I haven't played far enough or... I'm just going to put this on auto, folks. It's going to walk through the uh, how to grow crops. Um, I'm annoyed by when I create my 3x3 three three plots for planting crops because I feel it's just me. I have to plant in 3x3s. Three so when I'm planting my 3x3s, three uh, it annoys me when trees grow in between. And I wish, I'm hoping that if I fenced it all in, trees wouldn't grow inside the fenced area. But <laughs> trees are everywhere. And you only have so much energy. I'm waiting, Goldeneye, I'm waiting for, a, for a, a Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons to have a chainsaw. I really am. <laughs> it would make taking down all these trees way easier. Okay, uh, feel free to just drop your random questions about the game as well. I'll answer whatever I'm allowed to answer. Um, there is a difference, I can tell you, confirmed by uh, someone I spoke with who, who speaks Japanese, reads Japanese, and has played the Japanese version, that the... Uh, uh, the writing in both games is actually different um the your uh the english release for europe and north america and australia is um apparently much more humorous than the japanese version um again i can't say personally that i know this but uh i have talked to a couple other uh press media people in, in japan who have said that is the case so that's worth noting um there's a little bit of different dialogue so anyway i'm gonna stop i'm gonna run through this Uh, there is not a PC version. Why can't I pick this up? Oh, my bag's full. Oh, okay. Well, we can deal with that. Uh, no, Joe, there is not a PC version. Maybe in the future. Um, I do know that Friends of Mineral Town came to PC. So I don't see why um, this one couldn't. Okay, so you will get a well. And I'm just going to dump the well somewhere. I'm sure, right there is fine. So you do get a well, which you get to place anywhere. And again, this is another cool feature that I really like. Um, other games tie you to a specific spot on the map. It's like, hey, this is where you get your water and only where you get your water. And you can build a well, but you're not given one. So I do really like the fact that I'm given a well right away. Um, what I don't like is that... I'm just going to get my hoe out here, guys. What I don't like is I can't take my watering can. If I'm working over here, I can't take my watering can to the water and fill it up. I wish you could. I'm sure they could make the argument that this is seawater, salt water, not good. But it does annoy me that I can't fill up my water at this body of water, only at my well. It's a minor nitpick for sure, 
Um, but I think it's one I'll mention anyway. Your only question was about Dingus, Dingus, and you already answered that. Yes, I did answer your question about Dingus. All right, so once we, um, again, we're not maximizing profits here, folks. It's just trying to get through as much as I can, answer questions, show off some gameplay, talk about the things I like and don't like. Um, so we're probably going to plant these just like that. And then we'll uh, take a walk around town. Can you move the well in the future? Um, I've not tried to move the well. But we can definitely try. I think you can move it, though. See? These are the reasons why you guys got to come in here and drop your questions. Because otherwise, um, there are things I... There's there's a lot of things I haven't done. And there are things that... Um, because I'm pre-recording all the Let's Plays. And I'm releasing them a couple at a couple a day. Just not to overwhelm people. There are things that like people are getting super mad at me about in the chat. That I figured out the same day that I was playing. But because... You know, it's part 9 or 10 of the Let's Play. You're not going to see it till like, Wednesday. Uh, one of them was the ability to craft stuff. I forgot, so I couldn't figure out how to make lumber. But as you can see here, you can craft a lumber maker from day two. Um, another thing was um, storage bins, which, again, um, I can't craft one yet. But I think tomorrow I'll be able to craft a storage bin. I just forgot that crafting was a thing. Is it stupid? Yes. I'm going to plant my cherry seedling. Um, is it stupid that I forgot? Yes, um, but I did forget, so it's such a life. Actually, let's hold on to these items, because I'll show you the uh, town. Ah, uh, it's only eight. Oh yeah, we can go down. So uh, my first pet peeve, of course, I said was the uh, moving around in the analog stick. The second is this load screen. In almost any other Story of Seasons game I've played, including Dorymon Story of Seasons, I believe, the load screens were pretty quick if non-existent this one drives me insane every time every time you want to go to town you're going to sit through that and it's it doesn't feel that long but you know since playing on next gen consoles where load screens are so minimal it's 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 quite frustrating okay this is all of hall this is town hall you'll find the mayor here often sitting uh in his chair over here the thing we're here for though is two things the bulletin board um this is where you can view requests and give them. So right here, um, I almost sold those blood clamps, but Emilio is looking for uh, two blood clamps, which we have, so we'll give those, and we're going to make $200. The second thing, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, Crystal, in, in Mineral Town, if you don't go fast enough, the rivals start sneaking in and making moves. Um, so I've consciously been, I, the, the marriage candidates is one of the things they really don't want us talking a lot about. So, um, so I can't really dive too much into that stuff and nor would I want to, cause there's a lot of spoilers with some of the cutscenes. Uh, Rose asked, did you restart the game? Uh, yes, Rose, just for this, um, this tips and tips, tips ugh, for this tips video, uh, as well as the Q and A, I'm just playing through a brand new game we won't continue this this is just for this the uh the let's play of my regular series will continue tomorrow morning okay so the other thing that i didn't know and this is a tip this is a tip is this little green box here so one of the biggest faults i have when i play these games is i don't i hate looking at stuff like i should but i don't like click on everything to see what it does it's like i've never sat here before now i just did Remember when I said earlier when we did something and a title popped up and I said it's kind of like an achievement and you get something for it? You get it here. So this is your title rewards. So I've already unlocked all these title rewards just from working. I'm not going to be able to take them all because I don't have enough room in my inventory. But um, this one gave me a uh, bronze medal, which does nothing, by the way. Bronze medal, bronze medal, bronze medal, bronze medal, bronze medal. 20 fences, bronze medal, bronze medal. Bronze medal. I didn't know that until the 14th day of my Let's Play, and when I came here, I think I had about 45 items to pick up. So don't forget that, because that's going to be handy early on. Some of the items you will get within your first 40 titles, first two weeks of the game, you'll get crops, uh, crop seeds, nine crop seeds. You'll get some flower seeds. You will get a couple makers. You'll get a, um, a thread maker, a lumber maker, an ingot, ingot maker. Um, which are, you know, they can be expensive to craft. So 
you should take advantage. All right, um, we'll do a quick run through town real quick. So this is the uh, this is the animal store right here. Uh, this and this is where you'll buy pets and mounts and uh, cows and things like that. You can get that all here. This is the general store. You can buy some furniture here as well as seeds and things like that. You can buy fodder, which I should actually maybe buy some because we're gonna grab that chicken hopefully today. So let's go buy some fodder really quick. Um, in my first let's play, we are doing our best to uh, to woo Lynn here. That's Lynn. That's who we're uh, going after in my other let's play. But here we go. Let's talk to uh, Angela. Angela will tell us all the things we can buy. I want to buy some fodder. So we're going to go buy materials. Oh, no, we don't want to buy materials. Oops. We're going to buy goods. And all the way to the bottom. Oh, I, apparently I can't buy a fodder. Must be something you want. Oh, once I ship a fodder, I'll be able to buy a fodder. There we go. All right. Yes, Crystal, you can sell the metals for money. I haven't because I'm like... Part of me is like hoping that the game does something more with them. I know it won't because the game literally tells you these are worth nothing. You can either store them or ship them. So I probably should just ship them. But I'm storing them for now. Anyway. That's the uh, that's the general store. This is the bistro, uh, a place I haven't really visited much, uh, but I should. This is the uh, this is the grocery store. Again, haven't gone here much, but if you're gonna do a lot of cooking, a uh, good place to get a lot of resources. Uh, this is Nigel's. He's the woodworker. He'll be the one that upgrades your house um, and upgrades your barns and things like that. This is uh, Clemens' shop. It's the tool shop. Um, here's where you'll do stuff with your motorcycle as well as upgrade tools and things like that. These will unlock quickly. At least one of them will unlock quickly. It is a salon, so you can change your hairstyle and your clothes here. Um, and they'll make clothes as well. Like you can go in, and if you have the resources, you can make some clothes. Uh, what do we have here? I forget. Oh yeah, this is the flower store right here, which is which is great. Um, down there is just another uh, another restaurant, and then over here is the dock. Uh, she's the tour guide. Laura is the tour guide. The dock here is a multiplayer feature. They'll let you go to other people's farms and check them out. I guess it's just a restaurant. Oh, it's a hotel and cafe. Um, that's where you'll find tourists. So you will have tourists walking around the city that you can interact with and they change quite frequently. Do you think there will be a PC launch? I actually do. Um, I, it just might not be for a couple of years. This is a museum. Um, let's talk about the museum. Yeah, it's a pretty big town compared to other games, Seth, for sure. Um, I'm going to skip this. If you want to see it, it's in my uh, first 30 minutes, and it's also in my uh, my commentated Let's Play. We just got the camera so that we can take pictures of animals, which I do like, by the way, and we'll do that briefly. Okay, so what I don't like is um, this game is definitely... Is there an emulator for this game? Can you emulate it? I mean, I'm sure you could. I don't suggest it. Um, so you have a window here for donating and Gloria will take your donations. Unfortunately, Gloria can only take one donation at a time. So if you have 10 things to donate, you need to donate, blah, 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 done, donate, and then do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. Um, and this is where you can appraise things that you find in the mine. My issue is, is this borrows very heavily from Animal Crossing, and that's fine. That's not a big deal. Um, when someone does something, if you want to borrow from it, I'm okay with that. And, you know, the issue becomes, this is what it is. Like, it's it's bland. It's boring. Um, I think if I go upstairs, we can see the what I quote-unquote call the aquarium. Um, no, I can't. This is more like, so if you find treasures in the mines, like they'll just sit on these pedestals. They don't look cool. They're pretty boring to look at, in my opinion. It's kind of just a big letdown. The whole process is a big letdown. Now, will I do it? Of course, because I'm going to 100% the game, or 100% the game as much as you can. And I'm going to do that stuff. But it's it's not great. Like, I'm not crazy about it. How do I get to the... I've never actually um, gone to the... Oh, it might be in the basement. I don't think I've actually ever gone to the aquarium. I've just seen it. So this is it. So if you remember Animal Crossing, um, 
has the really cool aquariums that you can walk around in and you can see the fish swimming in. This is it for a marine life. And when you throw it in there, it's hard to distinguish between the different fish. It's kind of disappointing. This is, if, if I was to comment on a big letdown early on, this would be it for me, unfortunately. All right, let's leave because we're wasting away our day just walking around town. I did kind of want to try to get the chicken. I'm very curious if you get seeds, crops from other players' farms if you visit them. Um, I don't know anybody else with the European version, with the English version, sorry. Okay, hold up. I'll answer that in a second, Crystal. So let's um, let's put this away and let's take out the camera and just show that off real quick. I actually like the camera. So in the camera you can find what you want here and then snap the photo. You can try to get different photos and you can donate it to the museum. I'm not going to, but uh, it's also handy just for looking around in case you ever wanted to do that. Uh, so up here is uh, that. I won't talk about that. You can find that out on your own. Um, eventually we're going to unlock this. The forest ranger's hut is up here. And that's it. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. There's a house over here. Okay, uh, so Crystal, you asked, uh, I'm curious if you get seeds, crops from other players' farms if you visit them. Um, I can't say. I um, haven't tried the multiplayer stuff yet. I haven't found anybody that I can play with. I don't know if it's a limitation of the English version when I try to find somebody or if I'm just not finding anybody. Um, but I've made the attempt and unfortunately nothing has come of it, so... That is that. Once again, we're dealing with this load screen. It's not long, but it's too long, in my opinion. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, so we planted that. Um, placing down stuff is as simple as just throwing it down, just like in uh, Animal Crossing. Or, yeah, in Animal Crossing, you just throw it down, and uh, it'll go. Uh, you'll notice if you can place something, it will be filled in blue. If you can't place it, it'll be like that so you can't place anything up here your house will eventually go here and grow bigger but you can't build anything up here okay let's go see what we have to do to get this chicken coop today because i do want to get that chicken if i can manage uh we need some nine more stone and some grass so let's um let's put that away and let's take out the hammer here If you have more questions, just feel free to fire them. If I can answer them, I will. If I can't, I won't. But we will talk about uh, other cool features. I will say now, because I don't think we'll get that far. I like, um, I do like, I said I liked how you repair the barn and then get that free chicken by taming it. The other thing I really like is the progression of how you expand your farm. In a lot of, um, in a lot of games, uh, expanding your farm might just be tied behind a, a item upgrade, like getting a better axe to hack down a, a log that will open up more of the farm. I like that this one is tied to these little um, projects. So that bridge, for example, once we finish that bridge, we can just uh, we can just hop right across. Um, as far as I have played, Joe, uh, you cannot move it. Uh, I'm not saying that can't change in year two. Um, for the sake of, I have until the end of the month to write my review. Um, for the sake of this um, this question, this Q and A session, I didn't want to play past what I was allowed, because I didn't want to accidentally say something I'm not allowed to say. So, uh, as far as I played, no, you can't move it. Could that change? Yes, definitely. Especially since this game is so much about um, creation and um, stuff like that. So I could see it. Not, I could see it being the case that you could down the road, but right now, no. Okay, so we're gonna repair the coop, and just like that, uh, we'll have the coop, and we can uh, tame this chicken. Well, let's call it a coop. But you can obviously name it whatever you want. Uh, I don't think there's a renaming option. Okay, so now let's. Uh, it might be too late. At some point in the day, the animals do go away, but hopefully not. Where are you? Oh, there it is. So you just walk up to the chicken. And you can move it. Yeah, Harvest Moon One World, you can move your whole farm when you go to new biomes. 
that's for sure. And we'll be playing that tomorrow uh, on stream. Um, it's kind of a lame name, but we're going to go with it. We're just going to call it Cluck. Confirm. All right. And so just like that, we uh, we have a chicken. Oh, one thing I will say. Um, there's no need for tools for dealing with your animals. Um, I got the cow in my Let's Play. And I was curious about how I was going to milk it because I couldn't find a milker anywhere. And then finally when I got the cow, I fed it. I showed up the next morning and you just milk it with your hands. Like there's no milker tool, which I actually like. Um, anytime they can eliminate a tool in a reasonable way, I'm there for that. Like that's that's something I'm okay with. Okay, so we can... I want to be able to chat further about something else. So let's uh, hack down some more trees so that I can show you what problem I have with this game. And like I said, just keep firing those questions. I know Crystal and Joey seem to have the most, and that's all right. But ask away. Hey, the, your, the English release is still a ways off, so take advantage of, of the folks that have it early. Get those questions answered so you know you really want it or don't want it. Okay, I just need to collect 20 wood. No, it's a good guess, Joe. If you're wondering if the houses move, I mean, I would wonder. Uh, you will eventually get a bucket as a tool, and then you'll be able to uh, clean up these little puddles of water, and it'll give you some clay, actually. Alright, we got 30, so we can actually... Um, Let's put this away. I'm not going to use that again. So let's hop over to our crafting menu and let's craft ourselves a lumber maker. All right. So when you buy, at least when you buy um, this game in Canada, the price is $69.99, I believe. So $70. I hate when a game I pay for, that I pay, you know, fair market value for, has uh, mechanics that are what I would consider freemium mechanics. Something you'd find in, something you would find in a mobile game. And that's what this is. This is what this feels like to me. So I put in a three pieces of lumber into this machine. It will take two in-game hours to pump out one board, one lumber. So logs put in three logs two hours later I'm gonna get one lumber to build the bridge to cross over to the other side and to expand my farm I'm gonna need 15 so if I have one maker it's gonna take me 30 in-game hours to fix that bridge obviously the logic here is then you should build more makers imagine this area full of these stupid little maker machines all kind of look the same but with slight differences so the ingot one looks like this for example same size but this one's gold maybe you'll build a whole bunch more of these wood ones imagine having a ton of those to me it's not aesthetically pleasing it's not fun um it's the worst part about this game so far in my opinion of what i've played it might grow on me but, like, I don't want to sit here waiting two in-game hours for a piece of lumber. I would understand if they put a minute on it, like a minute of real time, or 30 seconds of real time, or 15 seconds of real time. Like, something that makes you feel like something's happening, like you're actually doing something, so it still requires effort out of your in-game time. But, like, one board for two hours drives me insane. Drives me insane. And if I could bury these and never look at them, I would. And when I kind of build up my farm to make it look nice, I'll bury these. Because I think they're ugly. So I think this was a big miss for me. Is the expansion pass, Crystal asks, is the expansion pass worth it or no? I'm planning on getting it when I get my version. Uh, the expansion pass will not be available until the game launches. So, um, and the content doesn't start, like the substantial content won't come out until... I want to say May, April or May. So you're not going to get any substantial content right when the game launches. So I just, I can't answer that question. Sorry, Crystal. Uh, we're going to head to bed and just kind of move on to the next day. Oh, 
Actually, let's deal with some of the crap in our inventory before we go to bed. Uh, just so you know, there's no time limit on when you can ship things. It's not like a six o'clock. It's not like a six o'clock window. Um, like other games where you have to have everything in the bin by six, you can put it in until you go to bed and then um, it'll sell everything that you put in there. So I'm just gonna sell most stuff. So we're gonna get 2,688. So you know what you're gonna get, which is great. Okay, now let's go to bed. Uh, Seth asked, does the sleep being count towards the hours in the timer? It does. So if you put something in that requires six hours, um, ideally you would do that before you go to bed. And then when you wake up at 6 a.m., the timer wouldn't be done. But you can't stack things, at least not yet, again. It's very possible you can stack things. I haven't seen it yet. But even if you can stack things, all it means is you don't have to stand in front of the maker to swap it out every two hours. Like, it's still going to be two hours. And I, and I know it's a pretty big criticism to call it free-to-play. So, I, I see Vlad said uh, feels like free-to-play damn. I mean, not quite, but like almost, if you know what I mean. Okay, right, we're just going to run through this. This is uh, Nigel. He's just going to give us... Um, Tell us about crafting, and then um, tell us about makers. So yeah, the makers for me, like the makers are a big mess. I, I wish I didn't have to say that. Um, I kind of thought I liked the idea of it, but I mean, at some point, I feel like I'm going to have 10 of these lumber makers, depending on what it's going to cost to do things. So we just got one lumber, and we can keep it working, of course. All right. Um, Today, I want to show off the mine, and I'm, uh, I'm actually a big fan of the mine. The mine is kind of a... This tool has already been... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay, I hate that part in Mailer Town, the time limit on shipping drove me insane. Yeah, yep. So there's no time limit on, time limit on the shipping. Anything you put in the bin uh, prior to prior to uh, going to bed will um, will be sold and you'll get the money for it right away. Okay. I agree, Crystal. It drove me insane. So over here is the mine. And I'm going to show off the mine because there's something in the mine you're going to want to see. And uh, I got a tip when we get in there. So just another handy tip. All right. So we just picked up some iron ore. Uh, you can tell the difference in rocks. So if you look at this rock here, it's kind of a brown and you can see like kind of, um, it's got some shape to it, as opposed to this rock here. Uh, that's not a good rock to show you. Let me see if I can find a good rock right here. This rock here is a little bit more smooth and it's gonna hit a lot easier. This one's just gonna give us straight stone. Whereas the one up there gave us some iron ore. So just, uh, and then you'll find more stones that give you um, uh, silver ore and such it goes up. So it's not a typical copper, iron, gold in this game, at least not yet. Um, it takes a different path. Okay, so in mines, this is kind of what you're looking at and you're always looking for the ladder down. On many levels, it will be appear automatically, but in on other levels, you'll have to actually find your way. Uh, this is new right here. So this is an ore, my, uh, ore vein in the wall. So you just kind of walk up to it. Um, and it'll give you a lot of the resource. So as you see here, we just got uh, five. When you're looking for a ladder in the mines, it'll never be on the outside edge. So if you see rocks on the outside edge and you're low on stamina, don't worry about them. It's not gonna be there. I've never found a ladder on the outside. But those mechanics do, they do feel free to play, Vlad, they do. All right, down we go. So here we are again. We don't know, but it's not going to be this one. It won't be that one or that one, and it won't be this one. So it's going to be one of these two. Yes, uh, time does not stop in this one like it does in Friends of Mineral Town when you go inside a building. Time continues to run. The other thing that you'll find in mines are these little things here, which you'll use a hoe for. Um, and if you just hoe it up, you'll get a treasure. Not this time, I got iron ore. But in this mine, this specific mine, you'll find raw opal, I think. I think you'll find raw opal. In the other mine, you'll find diamonds. So nothing on this floor, so let's go down again. 
and uh, we have both a wall vein and a uh, treasure here. So hopefully we can get a better treasure than just some more iron ore. And uh, a lot, Asher Paul Tan says a lot of YouTubers focus on the production focus, not mentioning about the statues and furniture in previous Trinitone. Such a benefit to go off two statues of buffs in this game. Um, I don't have any yet, so I don't know. Um, but we'll be able to answer. So there we go. We got a raw white opal right there. Um, I don't know yet, but I I would assume so. It's been a it's been in previous games like you just mentioned so um there are statues you can get so i have a feeling they are going to do things um i just haven't had one yet that's been beneficial to me all right let's go down again so that's where we get into so i can't give this game a score but um i was mentioning on twitter today i like physical games uh, i prefer to have physical games over digital games um uh, full full disclosure, Seth's my brother, uh, also has a Switch. I like to just be able to share games with him and with my other brothers. Um, and I have a pre-order for this title, for a physical version, and take it how you will, I'm keeping that pre-order, and we'll be picking it up as a physical copy. So, take what you will from that. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you here on the 10th, 10th floor of the basement, or of the mine. So these are magma sprites. So in other games, you have harvest sprites, uh, things like that. This is a magma sprite. He's going to give us a gift for getting down this far. And that's all we'll see from this sprite. You will might have noticed while we were doing work around the farm, those little pink things that would sometimes run away from like a tree we knocked down. Those come into play later and you'll be able to go to the sprite village. Uh, and in the sprite village, um, there's a sprite for lumber logs. There's a sprite for stone. There's a sprite for grass. There's a sprite for crops I think various sprites and they'll give you stuff um, along the way so be sure to check in eventually you'll have a, a travel sprite and he'll always let's give me a second here you'll have a travel sprite and he'll always sit um, right here next to your house whenever you do get a house which we're gonna try to do he'll sit right here next to your house uh, and you can just talk to him and travel to sprite village which is a fairly large area actually okay so we need to get some we need to get some wood, and then hopefully we have some time. We can still get into town. When you do upgrade your axe, uh, which we might not get to, when you do upgrade your axe, the first upgrades are going to cost you three lumber and three iron ingots. Um, when that's done, you can actually do like a charged hit, and it'll knock down or it'll lock multiple trees at once that are in the vicinity. So it will make collecting resources quite a bit faster. Excuse me. But keep dropping the questions. I appreciate all of you guys for asking them. It's been great. Happy to have you all in here. Usually uh, I've got my core group of, of friends that come out to watch, which I love, but it's always nice to have some new faces. And I hope you've been uh, enjoying the Let's Play. we got three more scheduled tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Eastern, and 6 p.m. Eastern. They'll be shorter. Um, the Let's Plays today, you'll find they were uh, three Let's Plays. They were day one, two, three, four, and then five, six. Going forward, Let's Plays will just be a single day at a time, uh, which will allow you to kind of come back to it later when you're playing your own game, and you can just watch while you play, and everything's broken down by day. Um, I mean, there is some relationship building crystal that you'll do. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite the same as, in my opinion, it's not the same as Friends of Mineral Town, where like every day you're going to go and provide them with this grass they like or whatever to make them happier. So it's, it exists, but not it's not the same. All right, let's go see Nigel and uh, check out what a new what a house looks like. Yes, yeah, that's why I was getting to uh, Asher. You have to go find them. Like, there's work involved, is what I should have said. There's work involved, um, but it's not It's not the same. It's completely different. Um, I'm going to guess Asher's been watching some of the uh, the Japanese streams. They've had it for a lot longer than uh, than I have. And there's some, uh, there's some great YouTubers playing the Japanese version uh, with English commentary. 
and for sure I'd suggest checking them out. Although I'd like that you check out my stuff as well. Do you enjoy the game? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I've mentioned a few things that annoy me, uh, Jakinda. Um, the load screen right here annoys me. The uh, aiming with the analog stick for hacking down stuff annoys me. The museum is lackluster and a little boring in my opinion. Uh, maybe that's going to pick up though. I can't say past uh, year one whether that gets better. Um, I find the makers using makers to craft stuff incredibly annoying, especially with the times, but uh, but I'm still thoroughly enjoying the game. I love every second I play. No, that's a lie. I don't, but I love playing it. Like I, I'll continue to keep going. All right, we're going to stop in at Nigel's and get the new house. Seth's upset that I left a tree stump. Who have you been watching, Asher? Just curious which, uh, if we've been watching some of the same uh, YouTubers play through. Unless you've been playing yourself, perhaps. I shouldn't assume, because it is out. So my, maybe you are playing it. I do have friends who are playing the uh, Japanese version right now. Hello. Um, so we're going to expand our house. And we can afford to do that, so let's do it. I think so, Asher. It's um, I mentioned a lot, but it I'm becoming less and less annoyed with that loading screen. Um, I still wish it was better, though. And I hope maybe they can patch it to be faster in the future. So here's the house. Um, nice and cozy like a home should be, blah, blah, blah. Uh, with the house, the spacious that you got enough. Uh, Joe, uh, I'm not going to answer that specific question only because I feel like that whole aspect of the game is just something you might want to enjoy on your own. There are YouTubers that have shown it off, shown stuff off around that kind of topic, um, but I don't think I'm going to dive into it too much. If you really want to know, I can pull some information for you and give it to you after, but... Uh, no, Jikinda, the, as far as I'm aware, the DLC for the English version won't be available till it launches, so I don't even think you can buy it now. Like, you can buy the pre-order bundle, but you can't buy it as a standalone. I was not, I did not receive it from Marvelous Europe for this review, uh, especially since some of the major content isn't going to be coming out for over a month. I think the initial content you're going to get is just some outfits, I believe. Alright, let's go take a look at the house. Alright, so this is what your house will look like once you get it. You can decorate it. Um, cooking here. Uh, fridge, which is where I put most of the forageables that I found. Yeah, we hit 21 gold night. It's pretty crazy. Um, here's your calendar. Um, but when you do open the calendar, it actually just opens up your... Um, if I were to step away from the calendar and just open my bag, there's the calendar. So, I mean, I think it's there for looks. You'd never really have to walk up. Uh, you can change your clothes here. Um, you can, once the salon is done and things like that, you can actually go into town and craft um, or bring bring the necessary ingredients, and they'll make you some um, they'll make you some clothes. Uh, bed, obviously for sleeping. You'll wake up at 6 a.m. unless you um, if you faint past 2 a.m. on your farm, I believe you wake up at 10. Uh, here's the book for saving. Uh, once again, you can get the weather for three days right there, and your notes and your encyclopedia. And a table. And then you'll be able to, this gets upgraded and you can obviously do, you know, craft furniture and stuff and put it in there. Uh, I like the fact when you update the house once the kitchen is actually included because the other games you had to upgrade your house three times to get it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I feel that um, a little bit more so than other stories. Ah, no, maybe that's not fair. Cooking is pretty important. Um, I always make sure now when I'm playing that I have a good amount of food in my inventory just to kind of pump up my... Um, Oh, I will show this, just to pump up my uh, my stamina and my energy. If you want, you can waste 30 minutes of your day, or for an hour, or yeah, half hour, 30 minutes of your day, if you hop in the bath. So we had two stars, or we had two hearts going in, and um, we should have three hearts coming out. Right there, so we got three hearts coming out. Um, food's much faster, 
you can cook up a single blood clam or blood mussel or whatever it was that we picked up the first day. You can cook one of those into just a dish all on its own and it will give you one heart back just like that. So, which is a lot faster than here, I'll show you. Let's pick up some blood clams. Let's run back to the house for a second. Yeah, they are. This is, that's the one thing I noted right away, sir, is this is way bigger than any other house you'd get at the beginning of a Harvest Moon game or a Story of Seasons game or a Stardew Valley game. You know what I'm saying? So we can cook. Um, just go to Selfish, Shellfish. So we'll cook. It does take 30 minutes. Note that. You don't have to wait 30 minutes, but it will take 30 minutes off the clock. And then, um, so I guess it's not faster because you're going to spend 30 minutes cooking this. Just eat it and uh, gain one heart back. This is the one thing I haven't figured out. And Asher, if you're still in the chat, if you've seen this, can you explain this to me? You'll notice my hearts have changed color. And after some work, they'll change back to red. I don't know what that buff is. Yes, Asher, you can. I've noticed that. You can't eat a lot of dessert. It'd be funny if your guy got fatter as you ate. All right, um, if there's any more questions, like fire them at me. I don't know how much farther we're going to get here because before we can really get into a bunch of other stuff, I got to cross over this bridge. Who do I plan on marrying? Um, Lynn, who works in the general store. Or the, um, I think her name is, I don't remember her name, but she's in the um, flower shop. She's another option, I think. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Thank you so much. I figured that's what it was, but I hadn't actually looked it up and or tested the theory of what's happening with that to know. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks, Jennifer. See, even I get to learn things when I do a uh, when I do a Let's Play. Okay. Um, I can craft another maker. For some of you who have been watching a couple Let's Plays, how are you feeling about the makers? Do you like the idea? Do you think it's a little lame? It'd be interesting to see what your opinions are. Or for any folks who have played the Japanese version. It'd be nice to know. Okay. Anything else? We might close this out pretty soon. Um, we might do another one once I'm farther. And we'll just kind of continue on in my own game, but I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have early on about the game. Okay. Uh, you do have a uh, special events. So one of the first special events you'll do is the egg, egg hunt, which I think is on the fifteenth or something. Is that a marriage of convenience? Uh, marriage, marrying the person from the general store? I mean, if I can get a discount with a lot, I can get a discount, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> anyway. If you are in the chat, this is by no means me trying to maximize the game. And Crystal, if you can, if you can do it well, you can make a lot of money on cooking selling dishes and making clothes. Uh, Victor's back. Oh, he's going to tell me about my upgrade. Uh, cute Angel. Uh, this is actually a review copy from Marvelous Europe. So I work in games media as a reviewer. Yeah, see, and uh, I see what you're saying, Asher. I'm not that way. I'm all about decoration. I'm not about efficiency. So um, I'll definitely make paths and fences and <laughs> everything else. Um, but, like, I agree with you 100%. These, these makers are ugly. They're annoying. They're not a fun mechanic. Um, and if there's, like, one thing that they could change, um, if they go down this route again, it would be to remove that feature. I'm sure it might grow on me, like I can't say. Um, 
you know, when my review comes out at the end of the month, it's possible that I'll be of a different opinion. But as of right now, on uh, March 1st at almost midnight Eastern time, um, yeah, I'm not game. Here, Seth. Happy? Boom. I can use my own name in game. Yeah. I mean, it's just a simple, um, it's just a simple, you know, code. That's going to put it in every time my name pops up. I think I've been neglecting our chicken. Yeah, see, look how angry he is. I'm sorry. I don't have any food for you either. If you have any last, uh, any last questions, shoot them my way. Otherwise, I think we'll wrap this one up. Uh, like I said, tomorrow there's three more Let's Plays in my English version uh, series. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, noon Eastern Time, and 6 p.m. Uh, those ones will be shorter. They're only about 22 minutes each. Uh, they'll be focusing on a single day, as will all my uh, all my Let's Plays going forward. Uh, tomorrow at around 8 p.m., we will be streaming uh, Harvest Moon One World as well. Uh, so if you want to um, swing by for that, happy to have you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Asher. Like, I, I was hoping that if I went farther into the game, somehow the makers would become more efficient, but they don't. You should try to do more crops for quick money. Oh, yeah, cute angel. I agree. Uh, but this is this was more just a Q&A session. I wasn't actually... This isn't actually my farm. Um, I have one that you can watch my Let's Play series on YouTube. There's a whole playlist. I think there's three episodes out now. They're about 45 minutes each. And I do a lot more work on those ones. Do you know about the game called Coral Island? Uh, yes, I've backed Coral Island on Kickstarter. I'm actually excited about that one. They organize the row makers with boxes each with each row. Oh, okay, interesting. I just don't like them. I think they're ugly. <laughs> On um, If you do go to uh, gamesreviews.com, and I'll ask uh, Seth. I think Seth's still here. If he'll type that in. If you go to gamesreviews.com and just do a search for um, Story of Seasons, you'll find a giveaway page. We're actually doing a giveaway for a $60 Amazon gift card, which you can use to buy this or buy Harvest Moon or really buy anything from Amazon. You, once you win it, it's yours. Uh, there's lots of ways to enter. Watching um, some of my videos and commenting is one of the ways you can get entries. Uh, I'm commenting on some of the articles on the website. You can get entries that way. But uh, be sure to check that out. Okay, I think um, I think we're probably good, guys. I appreciate all of you that came out. We hit 25, which for a live stream for me, that's a new high. Um, I think a bunch of you have already checked out some of the videos on the channel, um, and they're doing way better than I ever thought, um, so I appreciate that. And uh, we do stream quite often, so if you hit the um, hold up cute angel face, what materials do you need to make the plank maker? Uh, 20, 20 logs to create a lumber maker. Anyway, if you do, um, would love if you hit the subscribe button, would love if you gave this video a thumbs up, would love if you left a comment on any of my videos. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like about the Let's Plays. I'm flexible. I like to learn. I'm pretty new at this. Um, I would love to, you know, change up what I'm doing so that uh, you enjoy the videos more and more. Um, if they can be more informative, let me know. If you're enjoying what's there, let me know too. I always like to read all the feedback. I try to reply to everyone. So uh, if you have the time, uh, I'd love for you to do that. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Um, we do this quite often. We live stream a lot. So just hit that notification bell and you'll know when we're live. Thanks a lot. Uh, if there's enough interest, we'll do another one of these down the road.